Okay, class. Uh, let's talk about the second skill we need to be able to do. This is actually one of the easiest of the five skills in this section dealing with scatter plots. Uh, we just have to draw the scatter plot from a set of points. Remember, points um, have two coordinates in here, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. And so if you're just good at plotting points, you're going to be really good at the second skill. Let's take a look. So here is some data, and we have an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. Um, and the X coordinate deals with years since 1999. That's going to be along the X axis. And notice we have value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have what? Admission. And this is going to be in dollars, and that's going to be along the Y axis in here. So all you have to do is, is be really careful here as you plot coordinates. So even though this is in a table form, if you put parentheses around this, you can see that these are simply x, y coordinates. So it's x, comma, y. So let's plot a few in here. Let's plot all five, and let's see a pattern. Let's see if there's a positive correlation or a negative correlation or, frankly, no correlation at all. So 0, 5.08. So 0 is here, and 5.08 is going to be a little bit above 5. So there is there's going to be a dot right around there. Okay. 1, 539. Well, 539 is just below 540, so there's going to be a dot right there. 2, 566. Well, 566 is going to be somewhere right around there. Because if that's 560, that's 570, that's 580, it's going to be roughly right in there. The next one is going to be 3581. So 3581. So that's going to be just above that line because that line is 5.8 or $5.80. And the last one is going to be 4 and $6.03. $6.03 is going to be just above that. Okay, so that's how you do the second skill. That's drawing the actual scatter plot from um, a list of points. And so to review, I'm going to describe this scatter plot. What do I see? I see a strong, positive, linear correlation between uh, years since 1999 and the emission price of movie uh, tickets. So let's take a look at another example in here. Um, I make this a little smaller. You can see right above this, there's this scatter plot over here on the right. The coordinates already plotted for us, and that's these coordinates in here. I wanted to show you this example because notice this table is kind of horizontal. So the top line is going to be the X coordinate, and the bottom line is going to be the Y coordinate right there. So make sure you're not troubled by um, uh, coordinates being left to right or uh, up or down. And let's take a look at a few more. Okay, let's take a look at this one right here. Okay, so we have five coordinates to plot. We have years and we have cases. So where's years? Years are down in here. And then cases are over here. So we just have to treat these like coordinates. So the first coordinate is going to be 2001 and 39. Well, 2001, 39 is going to be right around there. 2002 and 28 is going to be roughly around right there. Next one's 2003 and 20. It's going to be right there. 2004 and 16 is looking like right around there. 2005 and 18 is going to be right here. So it's still roughly linear in here, but you can see it's not as strong. So as a review of how to describe this, I would say this scatter plot shows a moderately strong linear negative correlation between years and cases dealing with foodborne blot, uh, botulism cases. So 
Um, let's uh, create another video on the next skill.